So I want to show you guys how you can use your iPad to control Big Wiz Studio. So stay tuned. Let's get it. All right, first thing first, you go into your iPad. You want to go to the App Store and search for Touch OSC. And this is, there's two versions. There's the previous version, then there's the current version. As you can see, I already purchased it. Okay, the second step, you want to go to hetzler.net slash touch OSC. This is their website right here. And you, what you want to do is you scroll all the way down, all the way down till you get to touch OSC bridge. This is the software that's going to allow your iPad to communicate with your computer. So for Mac users, this button right here and Windows self-explanatory. So I've already done this, so I'll just go over it anyway. So let's do this. Okay, so we're just gonna install this. So you drag this over to your applications. I'm just gonna replace. Then it's done. So once you install it, you wanna go ahead and open Touch OSC. This is the app you use that's going to control your BitWiz Studio. Okay, so I'm gonna open it. And here, this is like the layout um, that's currently selected. So there are different layouts that you can choose from. You have touch key, logic pad, multi SY, jog. So if you wanna do some DJ type stuff, you can do that. I'm gonna just use the simple layout just for the purposes of this video. So before you even get started, there are a few things you have to do within this app to set it up to be able to communicate with BigWiz Studio. What you need to do is go to this chain link right here. This is how you connect your iPad and all the signals coming from this app to your DAW. So you want to click on the chain and this first tab is MIDI. I have two connections. One is for a wireless connection and one is for a USB direct to the computer connection. So the way you do that, you just simply hit browse and you go to either bridge one or bridge two. So again, bridge one is for wireless connection, bridge two is for USB connection. Okay, next tab is OSC. I wasn't really sure what to set this at, so I went to uh, the Hetzler.net, which is for touch OSC, and I went to the manual and this is the settings they had so i literally just copied the settings and put it back into my app i put the settings from there to my app that's why i have that the next tab bridge connection one is going to be direct usb and then connection two is you're going to hit the browse and you fire your computer in my case macbook pro then you hit done okay once you do that you want to hit play and now you have your controls, you know, stuff you can do, pads and stuff like that, SY controls. But we're just gonna focus on this page right here. Okay, so now that I have my iPad set up, now I'm gonna go to Bitwit Studio, go to settings and controllers. I'm going to add a controller. I'm gonna go to touch OSC, I'm gonna add and for input and output, you want to go to Touch OSC Bridge. That's very important. Let's turn this one off. Touch OSC Bridge. Okay. Now it's all set up. Now, what you want to do is, is try to map one of these sliders to a control over here. So I want to mess with the filter over here. So I'm going to map filter over here. So right now is this map. So check it out. Check it out. It's kind of jittery. That's because it's on a wireless connection and I prefer just USB connection. So now I'm going to go to the bridge and enable USB connection. So it's going to default to that and you'll see that it's smoother. See, check it out much smoother let me do this see much smoother so that's that um, there's also one more thing I wanted to um, mention so the iPad or touch OSC there is a 
big wig template that someone created it i found it on github and uh it's, it's older it's, it hasn't been updated in eight or nine years so but it still works kind of check it out so i can control the different volumes with the sliders and stuff like that um you know, here's the different pages, X, Y controls. You can do your mapping and stuff like that. But I haven't really gone too far into it. But I think it's worth checking out. If you want to check it out, I will put the link in my description. But there is another app for the iPad that is specifically geared towards BigWiz Studio. So I'm going to try that one out and then I'll share a video on, on my experience with that. So yeah, so this is how you can control BigWiz Studio and your dolls with your iPad with Touch OSC. So if you like this video, please remember to share it with your friends, like, and subscribe. All right, I will see you in the next video.